Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. With the release of Unify 3.2.7, it started us our steps towards high availability within our Unify network. And that was done with Shadow Mode. So currently, Shadow Mode really is just a hot spare sitting in your network rack. It isn't true high availability, as there is some manual things that we have to do, which is swapping a couple cables out, but it does sync both of our consoles together. In this video, we're going to get Shadow Mode set up with two UDMs that are sitting on my side table if you'd like to support my channel i do now have ubiquity affiliate links and they'll be in the description below if you'd like to hire me for network consulting visit my website at mactelecomnetworks.com and we also do have a discord server for shadow mode there's a couple requirements that we need to meet both of the consoles have to be the same so i'm using two udm pros you couldn't mix and match a udm pro and a udm se and shadow mode currently only works on the udm pro and the udm se hopefully they'll bring it to other consoles eventually both consoles need to be on Unify OS 3.2 or higher, and you need to be the owner or a super admin on both of the consoles. The console that's going to be in the shadow mode state, it needs to be in factory default, and we need to plug in a cable from our main UDM down to the WAN port of the shadow console. Primary console should have a hard drive in it, and when we initiate a failover, we're going to pull the hard drive out of the primary and put it in the shadow mode console. Once that's done, it will show on the LCD screen that you could put it into shadow mode and it will pop up in our main dashboard. So let's hop over to my UDM. Okay, now we're on the primary UDM and you could see that a new UDM Pro was detected to set up shadow mode or not now. And you could also see the co-located consoles and it's saying set up shadow mode. So that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna click on it. So now it is currently syncing both of our consoles. I don't really have any configuration on this console now, but but we will add a couple VLANs to make sure that it does sync. Again, the LCD screen of the shadow console is going to tell us if it's in sync or not as seen here. Now let's hop over into the network controller, create a couple VLANs, and then we're going to unplug the internet connection from our main UDM Pro and make sure that those VLANs did go across to the shadow mode. I'm going to click on the network controller and then go over to my settings wheel. From here, we're going to go to networks and then we're going to add a new virtual network. I'm just going to name this test one. And we'll leave it at whatever network it creates for us and we'll press add. The second one I'll do test two. And then we'll also do test three. Now that we've created a couple of VLANs, the shadow mode does say that it is in sync, but it does sync every three hours. So I want to make sure that it has pushed out. And the way we could do that manually, we could click on the console and here we could see that it synchronized eight minutes ago and we're going to sync it again. Also, if you want to take this console out of shadow mode, they do have that option below. To demonstrate how this works, we're going to unplug the power from our main UDM. We're going to have to swap out the hard drive as well and put it into our shadow mode console. So I'm just going to pull the power from this UDM up top. Now the shadow console recognized that the main UDM went down and it says ready to take over. But before that, we need to swap some cables out. And the main cable that we need to swap out is our WAN cable. If we have any switches that are going down from the UDM, we'll also have to reconnect that. So I'm gonna unplug this cable. And then we're gonna plug it into the WAN port of our shadow console. Now this blue cable, that's gonna go down as well because that's my computer. And then we're gonna swap out the hard drives. Now with everything connected how it should be, I'm going to tap to proceed. Now the shadow console is up and running. Let's make sure that it saved all of our configuration. So we'll click on the network and then we'll click on the settings. The only thing that I did change within this was the networks and you could see that they're all there. The test one, the test two, and the test three. It took about two minutes for the shadow console to come up and for me to be able to get internet access. Now shadow mode still does have a lot of work to be done. I want this to be seamless and not have to physically move cables over. For me personally, I would just have a spare UDM Pro or a UDM SE and I would have it up to date and I'd have it unplugged. If my primary failed, I would grab my new one and then I would just load a backup because it's about the same time and I wouldn't be using up any power in my house. I think it's great that Ubiquity is trying to get this done and we do really need some high availability features. If you have any questions about this video, please leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.